Welcome to Confessions of Room 3428 and my brand new room. Okay, so we don't have much to talk about this week, so I thought I'll give you a tour of my new room. I moved into uni on Saturday, and my phone just went off, but it doesn't matter. I moved into uni on Saturday, and the room is not completely finished, but yeah. So we've got the Guinness poster, the Doctor Who poster, which is new. There you go. Uh, last... Uh, um, vodka. Um, it's a portrait of me, which has footballs for the last Harry Potter, um, Apple, and um, Doctor Who. So it's very accurate. Okay, um, so then, over there, oh, I see this is my bed, so let's move that. Um, it's my bookshelf, um, and it's like, my, my laptop's currently chained to the, chained down so it doesn't get stolen, so I can't show you. But books on the top of my TARDIS, my photo of my friends um, from uni, um, my Harry Potter books next to my Quest books, um, and there's some more books there. I've got all that with me. Um, then we've got Family Guy up there. And another Doctor Who poster there, you get in the glare because that's where my lamp is. This is my desk, obviously. Uh, and then my wardrobe. Uh, TV, which isn't working at my chair. My Simpsons movie poster that Lizzie got me. And my door, which has been kicked in over the summer. Yeah, that's fun. Um, there's also a Lord of the Rings poster, but it's all down. So that's my room. Um, it's going to be a regular thing for the next few months. So get used to it. Okay, so Adio wants to know a hidden talent, and I really don't have one. Um, though I do, can do something with my fingers. Um, I think I showed people this at Terminus, and either A, no one was impressed, or B, um, other people could do it. So it's not cool. But um, I mean, firstly, you start off there, and I can move smoothly into that. And I know a lot of people get onto that, but I just like that in fact I can change without having to like readjust my hand. Yeah, it's boring. Sorry. MJ wanted to know what we would do if we had a million dollars for one day. So um I think I'm not sure if you spend any room rules, but I would buy flights for an around the world trip, stopping off at every major American location, Australia and everywhere that there is a leaky staffer who I want to see or just a friend who I want to see and I would just travel the world um, and yeah if it has to be in one day I would probably buy as many books as I possibly could um, as well as upgrade my Mac and get another Mac and another Mac and a bunch of iPods and anything that Apple sells um, and not to mention by myself a job on Doctor Who or something um, and any money left over would go to charity but it is money that's left over so anyway and that was all the questions I had um, Kim mentioned the book thief she found it kind of depressing um, and I kind of I, I find it surprising that a lot of people said that, that it's all about death and I kind of recognise where that comes from, but is it weird that those are the kind of books I like? Because it kind of gives me a perspective on the world and on life. Um, that might sound morbid, it might sound weird, but it's just the books I read. I've read like a smiley, happy, laughy book before and it really didn't do anything for me. So, sorry if it depressed you by the way, but there were other options. So I wasn't going to ask a question, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I should now. So, um, I'm going to say give us a tour. Uh, I know that some of you have given us like looks around where you filmed before, so I will do it where you record or do show that give us a tour of a brand new location. And I know mine was much of a tour as me just pointing to things, but you get the idea. So I'll see you later tomorrow and I'll see the rest of you soon. Bye.